going to be talking about search engine optimization. And I think a great starting place is to distinguish the difference between search engine marketing, or SEM, and search engine optimization, or SEO. Search engine optimization is actually a part of search engine marketing. And so search engine marketing can encompass a lot of other tactics that don't fall under SEO, like PPC and, and display ads. There are also many facets to SEO as well, and it's important to know what those facets are. We have keyword research, metadata, and a variety of other things. Today we're going to be focusing strictly on metadata, but I wanted to include keyword research because it's extremely important not to start filling out your metadata before you've executed a really well thought out and well researched keyword research campaign. And we can talk all about that um, at the Net Impact. We know a lot about um, keyword research and we can definitely help you with that as well. But today let's dive into metadata. Metadata consists of keywords that you list on your page, uh, your page's description, headings, alt text for images, and title tags for your page. Now it's important to know that all this metadata is behind the scenes. If you're looking at a web page, you will not see any of this metadata actually rendered on the page that the consumer or that your web visitor sees. It's all in the background, and it's all for the search engines. So first of all, keywords. Keywords are very important to metadata. You want to make sure that after you do your keyword research, you're applying the best keywords um, that are focused to your page, not too broad, not too overly specific, and you want to make sure that you, you use a lot of those to attract um, visitors to your page. So the two things to remember about keywords are that they are, you have an unlimited number of space, but don't abuse it. And you want them to be focused to your content. Next is the description. The description is what will actually show up in your um, search results snippet, as Google calls it. Um, so the description is your SERP result. You've got the search right here, and you've got the listings, one, two, three, listing. This is your snippet. Now, it used to be that the descriptions would show up exactly as you had entered them into the snippet, but now Google will pull from a lot of different areas to create that snippet. So if you have a really well-written description, a lot of that description should show up in the snippet. Headings, you'll see headings in, um, in your source code. One of the things that a lot of people do for um, search engine optimization is they'll check source code. And all you have to do to check source code is control click or right click on the page and you have the option to view source code. And you can see all of the code that's behind your website, which includes the metadata. So headings will be listed in your source code as H1, H2, H3. And these are all really important because they basically tell Google what the hierarchy of your content is. An H1 is more important than an H2 is more important than an H3. And, um, you know, a lot of the times they're headings, they're bolded, so they, they show how your um, content is organized on your website. We also have alt text for images. Um, this one is, there's a little debate about how to do alt text, and I know even among the team here we might have a little disagreement about what exactly alt text should be. But let's say you've got a picture right here. And we're gonna, you know, don't judge my art skills, but we have a tree with a sunrise in the background. Well, typically alt text is supposed to describe exactly what that image is. So it's basically describing the image, it's not giving any additional information about it. So you have, the alt text would be, you know, tree at sunrise. Now, a lot of times there's a deeper meaning to that image than just what it shows um, in the physical sense. And so there's also another metadata field that you can add to an image. It's the long description field. And in the long description field, you can provide more info about that picture. So maybe this is a tree at sunrise right before a rainbow appeared over the Grand Canyon. Um, that would be where you can add content that would maybe connect that image specifically to the content on your page. Title tags. This is a big one. Um, a lot of the search engines will use different lengths of um, title tags, but you want to keep your title between 60 to 70 characters. And you might want to do a little research on these. There's a lot of um, 
speculation that title tags are changing, that Google is changing how they create title tags for pages. Um, typically, title tags were given a lot of weight in search engine rankings, and they were used to basically determine the content of the page. But now there's evidence that Google is possibly creating title tags with additional information from H1s and descriptions. And um, they may be updating title tags or adding title tags where there were not title tags before. So there's a lot of um, discussion going on in the SEO community about that right now. And um, you know, some companies will create title tags for their pages and they'll render exactly as they um, listed them. And other companies will create title tags and they'll show up slightly different than how they had them on the page or even completely different. So that's, a, that's sort of a controversial item right now, but just keep your eyes open to see um, how that, how that pr discussion progresses. What else is there? Um, we have basically all of your main metadata listed out right here, but what else can influence your SEO? Well, um, because of how Google is now creating new snippets, it's increasingly important to make sure that you have good content on your page and make sure that you have great website information architecture. So um, basically what that means is when someone visits your page, make sure that it's really easy to find the content that they're looking for, your navigation is very intuitive, and a lot of that comes through a wireframing process, and we do a lot of that work here at the Net Impact. Other things you might look at are ADA compliance for those with disabilities who might be looking at your website. Um, a big part of that is having your alt tags filled out, but there's also a lot more that goes into ADA compliance as well. Um, you want to make sure that you are minimizing your validation errors as well. So if you have a 404 error or page not found, you want to make sure that you're going through and checking your website um, and, and that all of your links lead to a, a good page and um, that everything's well connected on your website. Finally, um, your URL. That's probably one of the hardest things to change because you have to register a new domain. But um, make sure that when you're starting a web page or if you're redoing a website and you can potentially change the URL, make sure that your URL still fits exactly what you want um, for your content and, and that your URL in and of itself will be intuitive to people and they'll know exactly what to expect to find on your website. That's about it for our discussion of search engine optimization. If you need any additional assistance with search engine optimization or search engine marketing, please contact the Net Impact. We'd be happy to help.